person actually is an enemy of a room. Let's punch down the couch and sell merch, motherfucking Dutch gang! want you to keep that energy going for your last and most adorable comedy tonight. Mark Karski. <laughs> Nice. I'll take that shit. So, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of tattoos. I got like got tattoos and shit. I thought tattoos would make people talk to you less. Way more. Way more often. Dude. People actually will like take pictures of me out in public. It's weird. Kind of. I like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Except if it's a person I don't want to talk to. Like I was at the gas station. There's like fat cashier. She was like, I have tattoos. I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> We also have clothes on. Do you want to talk about that? Like, I said that, and some fat comic was like, "You didn't have to say that. Why'd you have to pepper that in, fat?" I was like, "You had to bring food into this, pepper." <laughs> and of course, I have to say that the cashier's fat, because if it was a hot cashier, it wouldn't make sense. A joke, because then I would care about her tattoos. You know, <laughs> then I would give a shit. Like tattoos used to be like for like hard dudes be a cool shit, but now it's just for pussies, honestly. I think you just have to sit there. <laughs> That's it. Whole thing. There's like not any <laughs> you can still get jobs, I think. I don't have one though. <laughs> Were you guys also lied to about Spanish class? Like that you needed it? Need to hear you. Yes or no? <laughs> yes, yes, yes yeah. you, you didn't, dude. You could have just took a different class. But they made me take it. Uh, I, well, I failed. That's how I found out we didn't need it. I was a senior in Spanish too. Dude, that's embarrassing. I got 20% in the class, okay? Out of, that's out of 100. You've tried to get that low of a grade. On the final, dude, for dog, I wrote down El Doggo. <laughs> you should try to kick me out of the class. Like, they were like, we'll let you, we'll pass you for this class, we'll give you a seat. Remember, I got 20%. Like, we'll give you a seat, and all you can do is walk around and hand out notes to kids. I was like, she wants me to leave? They're like, yeah. So I stayed in that bitch, dude. Yeah. She hated that shit, dude. She hated me so much. Senora Noe. <laughs> or she forgot to put on her eyebrows. Senora No Brow. <laughs> Call her to her face. Uh, like, for the final, I was uh, doing the final, it was like a partner final. I was like, don't worry, dude, my girlfriend will take care of it for us. <laughs> The final showed up and I was like, you're gonna fail. Dude, I didn't, I just told her not to do it, you know? I was like, don't worry about it. It's just Spanish class. I wrote this on the way here. Is that the excuse we're using tonight? Yeah. If something doesn't work? Okay. What's the last thing I got here? You guys know some, you guys like cam girls? You guys know what cam girls are? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that guy's not dead. <laughs> if you don't know what they are, they're just girls who masturbate on camera. That's what they yeah. do. It's pretty cool. But, um, big fan. <laughs> Yeah, I almost said my mom does it, and she doesn't. I don't know why I almost said that. Because she's 70, and you wouldn't want to see it. She's going to see this video. Uh, <laughs> dude, I think watching cam girls and not paying for it is kind of like driving by a car accident. You're like, somebody's going to get that. <laughs> I'll take that. My name's Mark Rusk. I love you guys. <laughs> Yeah, it was cracking, guys. Uh, this is episode 163 of The Comedian. Haven't done one in like two weeks, but we're back to three times a week, baby. We're doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hopefully. All right? I'm waking up earlier. I'm setting alarms and shit for 11. I did it, dude. Some people are... I've been at work for a couple of hours by then. I'm a piece of shit. Um... So this was on April 2nd um, at Laugh Out Loud in Schaumburg. Uh, it's currently July 24th. So seeing some of the, I mean, I don't even remember some of this stuff, right? Like, I don't remember, like, even if I did an LOL, like, a, a month ago type shit. Um, did I have my first motorcycle by then? I might have. But I already got another one. It's, it's okay. Um, I noticed, because, like, there's, there's a couple jokes, like, I haven't said in a while actually like the um i haven't talked about like that 
uh, tattoos making people talk to you more type shit. I think that's something to talk about because, like, people who aren't tatted probably won't understand that. Like, they might think that you'll get talked to less because you look scary. But nope, it's the exact opposite. Way more, way more, as you could hear me say in the set. Um, I do like the part where I said, like, I, lo- I would care if she was hot. Then I'd care about her tattoos. Then they would matter. You know, but not on an ugly bitch. Come on. There's definitely more to the Spanish class for sure. But I like how I rounded that out with the uh, Senora. Her name's Senora Nowak. Unless she was wearing makeup, then it was Senora Nobrow. And we would actually call her that to her face, by the way. I'm glad I'm watching this and actually giving them a little bit um, to sit and then for me to forget about jokes. So it gives me stuff to revisit. Because if I go to the city tonight, I could try out these jokes type shit. Um... And definitely work on the cam girl bit. That's a super old joke that I had. Um, I think I made that joke before I even started doing comedy. Or maybe I did like one open mic or something and then like stopped. Something like that. I did like a couple before I like committed to it. Um, I think it's a smart joke. Like where you're watching a cam girl. And you're like, and it's the same as watching a car accident. You're like, somebody else has got this. I don't know if I should emphasize, like, somebody else is going to, but you, I can't say somebody else is going to call 911. But, like, that's what I'm saying is, like, some, you know, because that's, that's what we all think. That's, like, a phenomenon. It, like, no, uh, people, it, like, everybody will think somebody else is going to call type shit. And sometimes no one does. <laughs> kind of funny. But um, I think it makes sense there because dudes are all just watching, waiting for somebody else to pay. And they know that somebody else will. Somebody definitely will. But um, I actually, so there's going to be like a vlog portion in this one, I believe. But since I've been riding my motorcycle to the open mics, I have been doing um, the pre-portion vlog of this, of the set. Um, but I, I should probably start doing that again. That's good to talk. I mean, let me know if that like takes away anything. Uh, like me vlogging, talking about what I'm about to do instead of just probably just showing it type shit. And then just having the podcast right after. We'll see how that format goes because there are a couple that I didn't have, um, they didn't make vlogs for recently. But there should be vlogs up until like last week. So like the 17th of July, lots of catching up to do. But it's all right. Uh, it's a good, it's a good problem to have. Right now I'm doing like every other Sunday and then Monday th- through Thursday. And then if I have a show Friday, Saturday, I still got to send out clips. I've never sent out a clip yet. That's something I have to do, like send out clips to try and get booked so I can start filling up weekends and getting better crowds and getting better, doing more time and shit like that. So that's the goal. I said I was like, I was thinking about it a couple weekends ago. I was like, all right, this weekend I'm going to send them out. And then two weeks pass by. It happens, you know? I just get so focused on the weekend of not working and just riding my bike. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep talking just because I have a microphone in front of my face. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate you so fucking much. Um, we actually have a Patreon if you want to help support this comedic journey further. Patreon.com slash Poppy. There's also a Patreon podcast on there. Uh, that's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears. And, um, like, it doesn't actually make sense. To me, why YouTube doesn't like swears. There's a kid's app. And these are marked not for children. I've seen advertisements with swears in them. So I'm confused. But uh, to fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.